Biomedical science and biomedical engineering are disciplines that leverage medical knowledge and modern scientific advancements to enhance human health. While differing significantly in focus, prospective students may grapple with the choice between these fields. Several factors including course complexity, job availability, career progression, and personal career aspirations need to be considered when determining the best option for study. To summarize briefly, biomedical science primarily focuses on understanding the human body and researching methods to prevent and remedy disease. Biomedical engineering, on the other hand, concentrates on creating technology for more efficient and precise disease diagnosis and treatment. So while biomedical science falls under the health science field, biomedical engineering is a subdiscipline of engineering, making the two quite distinct, even though there is slight overlap and similarities in their name. This brief overview should help you begin deciding on your path. Are you interested in delving into the inner workings of the body and how medicine addresses disease? Or do you have a tech-oriented mindset and an aspiration to explore how medical devices, robotics and modern innovation can enhance disease treatment and patient outcomes? Your choice should ultimately align with your interests as these fields are fairly different. Let's now delve into each subject individually for a deeper understanding. Biomedical engineering, a blend of medicine and technology. Biomedical engineering integrates medicine, science and technology to create healthcare solutions. It's a typically three to four year program which teaches students how to apply engineering principles in designing and developing medical devices, equipments and technologies thus improving patient care. The initial year primarily acquaints students with their peers and technical staff, establishing a foundation in core units such as electronics engineering principles, engineering mathematics and mechanical engineering principles. Collaborative design projects where students work in teams to create tangible solutions for a given problem are a key component of the year. The second year is typically characterized by learning deeper concepts and gaining a better understanding of human anatomy and physiology. Both the second and third years encompass more advanced engineering principles, including engineering fluids, fluid mechanics, modeling and simulations, and control engineering. The third year typically involves individual projects where technical knowledge is applied. Students collaborate with industry experts or undergo placements. Specialization options vary by university and you may get the option to work in biotechnology, computational mechanics and digital design technologies. And don't let these names scare you or overwhelm you as these are things that you'll become increasingly familiar with leading up to the final year. The focus generally shifts to project design and implementation as opposed to learning the core principles. A notable aspect of biomedical engineering is the opportunity to take a year-long industry placement. This experience provides practical skills, development and insights into industry operations. Although not available to all students, the extended timeline spent in industry is valuable in showcasing readiness for the workforce. As a graduate of such a program, you may expect to work as a design engineer, a medical imaging specialist, a biomechanical engineer who's involved in the design and building of medical systems, or you could choose to specialise in prosthetic design. And these are just a few career options that you can expect having decided to study biomedical engineering. Biomedical science centers on understanding the human body, as we've described earlier. Its main focus is understanding disease processes and medical research and how we can use our understanding of the human body to improve the lives of people and repair the body from a disease state to a healthy one. A biomedical science degree equips students with knowledge of disease, their spreads and the function of human cells and systems akin to the early years of a medical program. 
first year foundational knowledge and laboratory skills. The first year entails two semesters, each covering three modules with multiple choice based exams. Modules typically include the core fundamentals of biomedicine, which are cell and tissue biology, human physiology, genetics, biochemistry and microbiology. The second year delves deeper into health and disease, accompanied by important lab techniques. Students often undergo a lab-based competency test to progress onto the final year. Modules involve cellular biochemistry, molecular biology, microbiology and science communication. Important lab skills gained include certain types of protein staining, western blotting, gel electrophoresis, the use of light microscopes and other forms of microscopy such as fluorescent microscopy. In the third year, you mainly focus on group-based coursework modules, elective modules, and a final year research project spanning both semesters. Exams are mainly essay-based as opposed to multiple choice-based exams. Elective modules may cover advanced immunology, biochemistry of disease, and human genetics. The research projects will contribute significantly to the degree classification as the case for most three-year courses. Course difficulty, biomedical science versus biomedical engineering. Now that we move on to more of a comparison between the two, it's important to analyze questions such as how difficult are these courses when compared to each other? In terms of difficulty, biomedical science tends to be challenging due to its evolving nature and depth. Oftentimes, and as you progress on in the course, you start to find that certain topics that you're studying have a lot of ongoing research taking place and therefore it can be somewhat difficult to know exactly what to learn for the essay-based examinations that biomedical science students have to take. Biomedical engineering although encompassing technical aspects, can become clearer with foundational principles, an understanding of the mathematical topics, as well as frequent practice of engineering principles will put you in good stead for success as a biomedical engineering graduate. Biomedical science's evolving nature can lead to challenges for some students during the course, contributing to the higher dropout rate seen in the transition from the first to the second year for a lot of biomedical science cohorts. Course duration, biomedical engineering versus biomedical science. Biomedical engineering programs usually take longer due to options of integrating a master's or taking a placement year, which may add a year or two onto your course length. Biomedical science can follow a typical timeline, especially if you opt into certain versions of the program or choose to take a foundational year, which may add a year onto the program. Typically, these are not advised unless you genuinely want to spend a year extra at university. Job prospects, expansive opportunities in both fields. Both disciplines offer promising job prospects beyond traditional roles. Biomedical engineers can excel in medical device design, healthcare technology, consulting, or health tech startups. Biomedical science graduates can pursue roles in research, clinical trial management, medical writing, and more. Career progression, engineering's clear path. Biomedical engineers often enjoy more of a streamlined career progression due to their specialized technical skills. Biomedical science offers diverse opportunities, but engineering's structured roles and technical prowess contributes to swift career progression. One may not be able to make a direct comparison between the two regarding career progression since there are different routes to different roles for each discipline. Biomedical science graduates may often opt into further study, such as a taught master's or a research project whereas engineering students may choose to get a placement or enroll on a competitive graduate scheme which can offer great career progression if successful. 
Transferable skills. Both fields offer transferable skills, but biomedical engineers typically possess a broader range. Engineering fosters problem-solving, critical thinking, and project management skills, enhancing adaptability across industries. Biomedical science, on the other hand, also offers great critical thinking and problem-solving skills, especially in modules such as genetics and microbiology, which will often have exams and puzzle-based group exercises that fosters such skills. However, to employers, engineering in general may be more attractive for certain job roles that require good mathematical competency. However, both offer great transferable skills. Client interaction, limited direct contact. Both disciplines typically involve minimal client interaction. However, client-facing opportunities exist. Client-facing roles in the field of biomedical science encompass a variety of positions, including clinical trials coordinators, laboratory managers, scientific communication specialists, and research technicians. On the other hand, client-facing roles within biomedical engineering spans across healthcare, clinical engineers, and sales engineers who are representing medical device companies, healthcare IT consultants, biomedical application specialists who specialize in integrating medical technology solutions into healthcare settings. So there is a diversity of roles, whether client or non-client facing in either field. Common misconceptions, debunking stereotypes. Misconceptions like biomedical engineering being solely for people who are adept at maths or biomedical science being a refuge for people who were unable to get onto a medical program undermine the complexity and value of both fields. Both fields offer unique contributions to healthcare and should not be underestimated. In summary, the choice between biomedical science and biomedical engineering should align with your goals, personality and desired career path. Despite sounding similar, these two fields are quite distinct. One covers the human body and the causes and treatment of disease, including modules like hematology, genetics and immunology, while the other focuses on applications of science and technology to develop modern healthcare solutions and diagnose disease better. These include modules like digital electronics, biomaterials, biomedical instrumentation and tissue engineering. Both fields equip graduates with valuable skills and offer diverse opportunities. In order to make an informed decision, you must think beyond the course itself and consider how your skills can be applied across each field and which ones make sense even regarding your own personality or your career goals, educational strengths and your own personal interests. Personal circumstances should guide your decision also. For example, course duration is slightly different between the two. This means that it's likely that a biomedical graduate and a biomedical engineering graduate will accrue different amounts of student debt at the end of their course due to the differences in price and duration spent at university. This may pay off better in the future. Ultimately, it's down to you and what you find you'll enjoy and perform best at. Do let us know what your thoughts are and whether this video has helped. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Watch the full Versus series over on smartuni.tv. Subscribe for more videos and thanks for watching.